for us each day in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the May 26th meeting, uh, I need a motion to approve those. So moved. Motion Second. by Larry Morphew, second by Larry Town. Uh, is there any uh, discussion uh, or uh, additions or uh, corrections? Any discussion? Corrections or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. The minutes are approved. Uh, before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list. Uh, I make a motion we accept it. Okay. Do I have a second? Second by Larry Count. Motion by Sam Small, second by Larry Count. Does any discussion? I was looking at the late list. Oh, cool. I'm finished. Yeah, I don't see anything on there. Jumps out. Judge, I thought we were, are we not mowing the airport ourselves? Not at this point. There's some discussion about it, but there's not. I just I thought we were in the past. We have. What account does that come out of? That comes out of the airport account. That there are a lot of out of their budget? Yes. We talked to them in the, uh, in the, uh, when we had the airport meeting and we just said that was one way because you know they're always struggling for money and we talked about that maybe using in the past i think charlie had used a um americorps or yeah. one of the one of those workers and said you know that way That's we could use it yeah. and you guys could use it he could mow up there and get yours and we can kind of split it and it would help the cost with you guys mm -hmm. uh, we, got, we got our americorps workers cut but we yeah the americorps workers have been cut how much they got to work mow out there? Um, about a little over yeah. 100 acres of that size. Because the runway, out. along the side of the runway, the runway itself is almost a mile long, you know. It, it, a mile plus 400 feet. Yeah, so that goes along either sides of it. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It, they got a lot to mow, but we did try to seek about the AmeriCorps workers, but they had been cut, and we thought that would save them some money that way. And work, and, and, and uh, Bo could use them at the park. Just trying to kind of right. Any other discussion on the bills and claims? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Bills and claims, payments and transfers are approved, including the late list. Uh, Do we have the two reports from the clerk's office? We do. They're in the yep. packet. Right okay. We need to uh, 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 acknowledge that we received those. I two. make motion to acknowledge the May 2020 financial report from the clerk. I'll second. Motion by Sam Small, second by Joe Barnes to approve to uh, acknowledge the receipt of the clerk's May 2020 financial report. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, then you have the clerk's uh, receipts for transferring delinquent property taxes. Make a motion to know. Uh, motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. That motion carries. We've acknowledged the receipt of it. Next, we're going to call on Scott Phelps from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, District 2, to <coughs> come up and enter, or stand up or whatever and introduce his guests. All of them. All right. Thank you, Judge, and members of the Fiscal Court. Uh, I will hear we have our Chief, Dr. Henderson. Uh, and then in front of me here is our Prince Manager, Jason Ward. And our scholarship student, Shane Gray. Shane. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. 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 Th
Jason has a copy of the presentation. You want to do it or not? Go ahead, Scott. All right. Y'all have copies on your desk. All right. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. So funding this year, uh, total funding was $1.3 million. Of the flex funds, which the county can receive or allow us to use, three hundred twenty-eight thousand, three hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars, and our KYTC fines is eight hundred ninety-eight thousand. Our first recommendation is for fifteen forty-four to ask for overlay from US sixty-two, uh, and I think it's McCord Road that comes in there to Hall Creek Road. Uh, the average daily traffic on that is 498, and we think we can get that for around 180,000. Second recommendation is for Kentucky 919 to also resurface, uh, going from Kentucky 878 all the way up to Kentucky 54. Average traffic on that is 183 vehicles a day, and estimate on that was 480,000. Our third recommendation uh, is. Kentucky 273, more commonly known as Goshen Road, and it calls for paving that all the way from 69 to 62 there in Beaver Dam. Uh, that vehicle gets the heaviest traffic at 1,750 vehicles, and estimated at around 310,000. And then the flex fund, as you know, uh, the county can elect to keep those, or it can allow to use for another project. Should the county allow us to use the flex funds, we're going to do a bridge deck rehab on 1245. Of, this is the one that's over the p &L Railroad. Remember a few years ago, we did the other one that was over uh, the parkway. And this one is just not even a mile from it. And our estimate on that is going to be right at 300,000. So do we have any questions from the fiscal court? Je uh, yeah, does no. any, anyone in the second district actually say we was the county won't spend them and that yes they are actually yeah that. uh usually i get between 50 and 75 percent of flux funds back from the county so i got i get henderson county back nearly every year we got hancock county back on tuesday when we did when we met with their fiscal court uh, webster's about 50 50. you all have been real good to us here until about a year or two ago so uh, we'd like for you to come back around our way of thinking. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we have so many county roads, and basically that's about the only way we get any of those black tops is with those flex funds. Judge, if yes, I may make a, make a couple of motions. One, uh, to accept the recommendation. Well, let me make the, that we retain the flex monies. On the first motion, we need to do that separately. I'll second it. Any discussion? Uh, say, aye. 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 Opposed aye. like sign. And on the second motion that uh, the, the court accepts the 2021 rural secondary program that's been proposed here today. So. Second. Did you get the second on that one? Okay. Motion second. Uh, any discussion or further questions? I've got a question on the, on the funding. It says uh, amount reflects 10 percent reduction required due to COVID-19 shutdown. Why? Who uh, authorized that? 10 percent. 10 percent. The General Assembly did. Well, so the, the whole program is based off of a state law, and, and it, it's based off of the amount of revenue that comes in from the sale gas tax or sale gasoline. Okay. Because uh, I think Kentucky's around, uh, don't hold me to this number, but around 26, 27 cents a gallon minimum per gallon of gas goes to the uh, transportation cabinet. So anyways, out of that gas tax that everybody pays at the pump, a certain portion of that is dedicated to the rural secondary program. It's based off percentages. So because of uh, COVID-19, uh, there was no buy buying new cars, no buy buying gasoline, etc. So our revenues have dropped severely. And so they readjusted. Well, the numbers we got back in January and February were about 10% higher than the numbers we have to work with now based off of the drop in revenue we've received from everybody uh, basically having to quarantine themselves at home and schools being closed and 
nobody buying fuel or as much fuel or, or, or new vehicles. So our, we, we brought the revenue and, and you all get a little bit of that, get to share in that and that lost revenue because it's all based on percentages of revenue received. Jason, you talk about not driving or whatever. I was stunned to get a refund from an insurance company. You know, that don't happen no. very often. So uh, rebate back or right. reduction or whatever. Yeah. But you better, you better write a make a, write a book yeah. and put that in there because it normally always goes up and never yeah, That's exactly right. right. If I may, uh, Jason, I may ask you and Scott one other question, and I, I know I sound redundant every time I bring this up, but the section between Lake Washburn and Dundee, and I, I, I get the people constantly how we sixty nine. Yeah, constantly complaining, and and I know I've talked with you the, the last time you guys were up or whatever, and, and uh, I just want to know if. That could uh, be put up, moved up a little bit, or where we're at on it, or whatever the case may be. So you talk about yeah, Kentucky 69. Uh, I think this lady here okay. mentioned it to us before the meeting started. Oh, so. she did. Well, okay. you right on top of things yeah. there. So she's she's definitely supporting what you're doing. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Just last week, Shane and I drove 69, uh, making some taking some preliminary notes of uh, sight distance issues and problems with the pavement and that kind of thing. And uh, we're just starting the process of looking into whether or not there's going to be they're going to be able to do anything there anytime yeah. soon. But it, it just started moving a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I can tell it. you what little I've heard, and you know everything is subject to change. You know people start buying a lot more fuel and a bunch of new vehicles. All of a sudden, the things change, right? Right. But what I have been, what I have heard is, is that. Uh, the real secondary program, because it's a law, is pretty solvent, okay? Can't really touch that. But the rest of our resurfacing program, for all the, what we call our our primary highway system, uh, our supplementary routes, every, basically everything that's not real secondary road, there's not going to be much getting done on it. Is that right? Well, I hope it comes through for that reason as, as well as we get more of our checks we get for the CRA. Because... Fortunately, the, the rural secondary roads were in good enough shape that we did really well on the flex this year. Y'all notice it. Night's the first time I've seen it. There was a real possibility that would drop. If the rating on the secondary roads are low, then the percentage we get of that's low. Right. So that means that, that, means that the better job we do, the more you money did. you get. So that's we correct. doing such a good job, so we get more money, right? <laughs> Y'all did a good job. Hey, let's let's talk so, go fun. So, yeah, I, know, I, I was trying to be funny. I, I appreciate I the compliment. Thank you very much. That means a lot to us that 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 you recognize that we're doing a good job, which does yeah. help you to be able to spend money on your county roads, in, in, you know, in, in lieu of the state roads. So we, we appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment. But, yeah. Tell you what, Jim, <laughs> that, I will say I though that, that you know, like our normal yeah, services yeah, for like like for our primary routes, like 431 or. Or 231, uh, 62. Uh, there's probably not going to be nearly as much work done over the next 12 months as as what has been done in previous years because of when you have a, a you know this is protected by law. Yeah. The other is is not, and when you have <coughs> declining revenues, but yet you still have employee cost and. Uh, and, and maintenance costs and snow and ice costs. Something has got to take that hit on on that on that lower revenue. And resurfacing on those roads is, is one of the areas that will probably take a hit. Take a take a. You, you you'll feel more in those areas because we got to keep the snow and ice off the roads. Yeah. And thank you for the comment. Yeah. So I got a question to ask you. I'm gonna whip that horse a little bit more. Uh, Highway 136. Uh, between 231 and, and the county line or even to Livermore have has anything changed on it the bridge, uh, the bridge. Board and everything is what you're talking about isn't it? they have uh, more something in your area I'm not familiar with yes uh, no nothing's changed all right so it's still planned on starting in 21 yep she does the long-term planning getting money and me and Scott are more of the near term, just get her done and talk to the people. Kelly. We she's need very to, familiar with this. She's been working hard on it. I know she's been working hard on it. You need to talk to her. I just, 
being humorous. So. Well, I thank you, and, and uh, of course, I'm still trying to push it because it, it's it, it's uh, very dangerous for a lot of the trucks that's going up and down it, and and uh, frankly, having bridges that two trucks can't pass on, and, and that much traffic is is scary. And we got two of them on that road. And uh, but I do appreciate everything we can do, and and please try to keep us informed if something does change. Uh, I think it was 21 was when the first, I don't know. It wasn't a last one. It, it, it hasn't moved up any quicker in the new plan. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, do, do Miranda, have, go ahead and do a roll call. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morview? Yes. Small? Yes. And if I can ask everyone to speak up as loud Thank as possible, people can't hear. I do, I do have a question, too, about Highway 62 Bridge. The one going, going out, out of Beaver Dam. Dam. When's the completion date on that? Or the curve? Do we have a completion date yet on that? We do. I don't have it memorized, but we should be. The, the plan is to be done by the time schools is normally scheduled to start back in the fall, which is okay. in August. I, I didn't originally, know yet. originally how it's going was, as far as originally it was the, the, the actual completion date by contract is like August the 30th or 31st okay. or something like that. but because of the COVID and because the schools shut down we actually started construction on it earlier because we weren't supposed to start construction until school got out okay so we started a little earlier with school being closed for COVID with, in the hopes that we get it done in right. time for school to start back in August so it doesn't affect school at the beginning of school. Okay. Does that, I hope that answers your question. Yes, it does. Mr. Ward. Yes, sir. you got on here a total of $898,119 and then those three projects that you're recommending, I've come up with nine, 970000 That's because we have after the projects were already set up that's when the reductions get but i think we're going to be able to come in under okay. on these projects that's the reason it's safe like that. i just didn't know if the third one was going to be maybe you know a section of it wasn't going to be completely redone if or? we have to uh, i would rather we go goshen road because of the traffic on it and we might drop one of the lower adp routes if we have to do that but i don't think we will i think it'll come in under Okay. And, and if we do have to, we we'll probably just shorten it a little bit, not cut the whole entire route. Right. So right now, uh, you're hoping the bids come in under. We're getting very good prices right yeah. now. Yeah. Why? Because of COVID. Because there's, you know, dropping revenue means less projects to bid. Yeah. So oil prices are down. Oil, yeah. gasoline's down. Oil prices are down. So we are getting be. some exceptionally good prices right now. Right, and so those these estimates are based off numbers of, of a year ago. Okay. So you know we're still hoping that with the you know the, I mean asphalt's dropped about five or ten dollars a ton right now. Right. So you you know we're hoping that, you know got a thousand tons at ten dollars and that we end up you know, making up that money that we that just shows a little bit high on. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all and. Uh, Take care of Shane and, and train him correctly, because I know him too. Well, we'll make sure that if he doesn't act right, we'll send him to you for some corrective action. Okay. How well did that work when you said Scott? We're still working on it. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> That's been fine. No, I do appreciate you. I appreciate everything you do. Everybody you do a great do. job for our county. Yeah, well, Scott does it all, so you can he's the one to thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Next to Ann, I'm calling on you to explain the transfer of money that's on the agenda. Uh, as y'all remember, we set up uh, or we raised the occupational tax by a quarter of a percent, which that starts July 1. That money is to pay for 911 services and the fire departments. So I'm going to have to have some money up front to start paying these because we won't receive any revenue until October sometime. And you're transferring them from where? From the general fund savings account. So as soon as it might take a year, 
but as soon as we uh, got extra in there, we'll put it back. You need a motion to transfer. How much do you plan on transferring, Judge? Two hundred thousand to get it started. Okay. Okay. I have a motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion or further questions for Ann? Does that motion so, reflect that 200 would go back in once we build it? Yeah, but that up? motion reflect that, but I, yeah. yes, I trust Ann to put it back. But. Yeah. It you got it, Miranda. It might Miranda. take a year uh, to let it build up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, there's a, uh, as you know, uh, the federal government and our governor has been good to us and, and with us to have some money from the CARES Act, but we have to pass a resolution on how we'll use it and account for it and all that. And I've had Jason Bullock take that and, and decipher it, so I'm going to hope that he'll make a motion on it and then explain it if anybody's got a question. Well, I'll explain a little bit. It's one page. It's it's typed, It's in your, and I've talked to Justin about it, and I went over with Ann, so we both went over. And basically, I don't know, Ann said it's similar to, um, like the house bill money. When you do a project, a scope, you, you send it in, and then they reimburse you. I, you know, I kind of look at it as you remember when we did the uh, FEMA. FEMA money. Well, you did your projects, and then you, you build for that, and you send it in, and they do a quarterly bill. Well, what's happened is we're going to have to look back, and our first building date will be June the 30th. Okay, there's 800 and something thousand dollars for the county and cities to try to recoup some of the costs that we can use from. Um, so we'll be able to bill up to December 31st, 2020. So it'll be three billing cycles. And hopefully between some of our uh, sheriff's office, um, some of Charlie's, half of Charlie's, uh, some of his costs, and some of the other costs. I think there's been some computers bought and some things that we've used because you can't have meetings like that. And it allows us to submit these bills in for expenses we've used um, and to get money back through the next three quarters up through December the uh, 31st. I know Jason that we don't, we don't always get 100% back, but this will what be 100%. You think this will be 100%? I know it will be. Yeah. You know, FEMA's not always come through FEMA's 100%. FEMA's not. But, uh, it's, and hopefully it'll be quicker in FEMA too, though. You yeah, know, I understand that. But it does, it's similar to what it is. It's allowing you to bill for some of the costs that you lost or you, you occurred during the time of the FEMA. I don't think it's revenue. We're, we no. can't re we can't recoup revenue loss, but we can recoup some of the billings for the sheriff. Uh, I think the cities can do the same thing. We have about $800,000 to uh, do this from. And it's, like I said, it's it's new, but it's similar to anything like FEMA or the house bill money. It just allows us to recoup some of the money we spent. Sound like a win-win. So uh, I make a motion uh, that we accept the um, authorization of resolution 2020-13 the CARES Act that we, I make a motion that we accept the uh, resolution. Second. A uh, motion by Jason Bullock, second by Larry, uh, uh, Larry Morphew. Any discussion? And I, well, one point before we vote, I will say this is the federal government money and Mitch McConnell helped recruit, but I also thanks to our governor because a lot of states did not pass it up. They, did, they kept their money we were able to pass ours through and allow counties and cities to use this money and even school systems have a fund so you know i think the state for allowing us to how's the, how's the formula work here for the county and the schools and the well the school has the, i think they have a different fund oh, this is fund. just for us and uh, cities i think city of beaver down hartford could recoup and, and you said it, it can be up to eight hundred thousand eight hundred i think it's eight hundred thirty-eight. 830. All, it's over. all anything that's related to the corona. Yeah, the we spent costs for corona related expenses. That's the way it is. Costs yeah. incurred. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, resolution, let's do uh, Let's do a roll call on that. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay, uh, that motion passed. Next thing we have.
is our uh, CRA money that we get every year from the gas tax. It comes up, we've got to do a contract with the state, and to do that, we've got to do this resolution. Uh, I've asked Larry Count to review that and to uh, uh, hopefully we'll explain it and make a motion to pass it. Well, I just want to entertain a motion that we, uh, uh, with a resolution saying that we enter into agreement with the county road and uh, cooperative uh, program agreement that the state sets forth for us to accept for whatever. So. Second. But second, I, second, I second what, it's, it's like 1.4 million or something like it's that. It's 1.4 million, it, it's, and it's down a little bit just like anything yeah. else. But yeah. Just to clarify, we've already done this once this year. The state sent it back and we had to amend it. So this yeah. is our second time. Yeah. Yeah, don't we usually get about <laughs> what was that? one seven, one eight? This is why we read up the budget came back from the state on the road department. Yeah. That was the reduction in that amount, and that's why we. And that's why they redid it. And that's yeah. the reason. That's the reason for we redoing. That made it just in budget. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and do a real call on this one as well. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Camp. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Okay. Can you pass this? Can you sign this and get them to sign it? And then if one of you, Larry's can get it back over here to this side, to those, those. I've always said. We'll do it. Thank you. To the good side. If I can make a paper airplane out of it and fly it over there. Thank you, Joseph. Jason said he was the young guy, he'd walk over there. Yeah, I didn't want to catch an airplane. <laughs> I know more Jason does. <laughs> yeah. Mighty little, is that what you said, Jason? Don't look at my penmanship. You got good penmanship. <laughs> Okay, and uh, you can leave it there, and Miranda will pick it up from that table. It'll be here, Miranda. Thank you. Uh, we've got per two, two little personnel issues. The golf course hired seasonal for a uh, open position in the budget and everything for a seasonal golf attendant. The name is John Cabaco at 8.68 an hour, uh, and I'll just need a roll call vote. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Moreview? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay. Uh, the other one, the next, that's come from the budget. This next one will be from our CARES Act money, but it was a, uh, the uh, court, it required extra cleaning upstairs every two hours the whole place has to be gone through like a tornado and reclaimed and re dis disinfected <coughs> and uh, on emergency order I hired Angelina Swift uh, and so she started today I mean yesterday was her first today. day today. she started today but the hard day was uh, that's some of Jason's money could be spent on that can't yeah. hard day was today. Yeah. Yeah. and uh, at 868 an hour and it's a temporary position, probably for four, four to five weeks. No more than five, probably. So roll call that one. Background check. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Ham. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Did you leave that with that? Yeah. Now that was that was the state mandate. Is that something that came to the state? Yes. We had to do. Um, next is committee reports, and I'm going to do two things real quickly, and then I'll call see if there's any other committee's report. One is I'm going to give you a COVID-19 report. Uh, our county actually has improved a little bit this week. We've had more recovery than we did uh, new cases. We have 44 active cases at this time. Uh, and uh, that's down from 48 Friday. So 
I base it on that more than uh, anything else. It's, if, as long as you're getting more, get well, then it comes down sick, is the way I'd put it. Then I think that's a good thing. Uh, I just also think that we cannot let up. We've got to, uh, we've got to keep up what we're doing, social distancing. Uh, while, while I've been here, I've got three or four uh, texts, won't know when you can open certain things up. Um, and uh, of course, we can get what the governor's recommendation is. I'm not in, in. I'm not inclined at this time to move up any of the dates that's recommended by the state. Uh, some counties have a little bit, but I'm, at this time I'm not inclined to do so. So we're right on the state's uh, schedule at this time. A few things are opening up, which is a really good thing. I'm really proud to be able to go out and eat. I got to go to Fordsville Diner yesterday. I've been to Cafe at the Dam. I've been to Beef Old Brady's. The spacing's different, and uh, you wear your mask till you sit down at your table. I don't, you can't eat with a mask on, but you're separated from everybody else, unless it's with the group you're with. I think that's a good thing. I'm glad we're getting open back up. Uh, next thing I want to talk to you about, uh, I keep in close contact with the coroner, and he's doing a great job under real bad <laughs> conditions. I mean, anytime you got to go out and, and investigate a, day, a death, it's a bad thing. Uh, but the thing I'm bringing up in, in the contact with him is our unprecedented uh, uh, number of suicides in the last couple of years in our county. Uh, we will be getting a uh, report on what the age ranges are and the sex and the, the mode of... Uh, of uh, so that they took the game to suicide. Uh, so most of them were gunned, by the way. So surprising. Some some uh, pills, you know, overdose pills on purpose, and some were uh, uh, a few have hung themselves actually. Hanged. I'm sorry, a wrong word. So that's a, that's a really bad uh, thing. I'm going to point a new group. Uh, to uh, look into this and give us a report in in the uh, uh, September meeting and I will see a couple meetings in each one and they do some research and I'm appointing to that Katie Pate from the Sheriff's Office Elvis Doolin our coroner Savannah Vaughn with emergency management Rip Wright our jailer Jason Bullock court uh, and I'm going to ask uh, if any of the others of you would like to serve on that for the court as well you can volunteer and you'll be appointed as well it's something I'm really concerned about uh, I know some other counties are doing some things they're uh, putting out hotlines and they're putting up billboards on the side of the road and things of that nature to try to uh, see if we can get to this it's just bad when a person sees no hope for their life and these are not all older people either you just uh, you just uh, it's so sad and we just can't accept it in our society so with that said that's the uh, committee I'm appointing and I'm asking for them to meet uh, and to give us a report at the first September meeting uh, is there any other committee reports? Any other committee reports? David, I need to bring out the uh, administrative code. Please. Understanding is it did, Please do. It, it did get um, advertised to have the second reading. So y'all passed the first reading. Um, and so we just need to go ahead and move forward on the second reading so we can have one in that. July 1. Okay, do you have that number of that order? Of that order? Yeah. Administrative code. Oh. Yeah. Do you have it, Miranda? I can get it in two seconds. Okay. Sorry it was left off of the agenda. It should have. Is it, are we ready for the second reading? 
Yes. Can we just allow her to put in the number? I mean, yeah. We, I, yeah. I'll go ahead and make the motion to accept the uh, changes to the uh, administrative code. 2020-9. 2020-9. Okay. Motion by Jason Bullock, <coughs> second by Larry Camp. And they are on the administrative code committee. So, uh, thanks for reminding us that, Renetta. Is there any discussions or questions for either one of these gentlemen or Renetta? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Second reading is approved. And any other committee reports? Uh, being none, we're ready for magistrate's comments and requests. So we'll go with uh, District 1. I don't have nothing to do. District 2. Three. No, not right now. Oh, uh, uh, well, I got, a, I guess, a request or, uh, but I've never felt more comfortable the way I know this is this seating here is done by for social distancing, but I've never felt more comfortable sitting up here where I'm able to debate one of my fellow magistrates instead of have to lean up and talk down the table. But I just wonder, Judge, if he would consider with, uh, we'd have to add uh, Justin and Miranda. But have it in a round circle like that where we can see each other and talk and stuff like that. I, I really, I really feel a lot more comfortable there too. Well, yeah. we'll look at it. I would hate to not you use our furniture. You could all you could like be here in the middle. Yeah, I'd hate to not use our furniture. Yeah. Well, you could probably use it. You, you could just put it in a V and a V and it could be in a V shape. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it just so to me it just. When, I, when we debate an issue and I'm leaning up front and talking and Joe's sitting down further down or Jason or Sam and I can't hear as well or whatever but I'm sitting there facing I just think it brings about a better escape debate and better discussion yeah then, you, then I can't reach you or Joe either one if I need to <laughs> Of course, we do have to look at you all the time. Well, you know, that's but, just, you can't have everything. But it's but, vice versa. You're going to have to look at this. But, but, but the good part about it is, too, is that uh, Miranda can't kick me under the table either. <laughs> well, no, there's a good plus right there, Jeff. See? Uh, that's why your leg was hurting a few months ago, wasn't it? It wasn't because of anything else. It's because Miranda be kicking you. This is why we have an insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Larry Murphy, do you have anything? I just need to bring it to the court's attention, the home place. I don't know what's going to happen up there. They've got a leak in the chimney and the rocks and stuff is falling, so it's getting a little dangerous. Well, well let's find somebody working. I, I thought Jason Earl, who works for the park, is helping out up there now. We thought he could do it, but if not, we'll look real soon and try to find get some micro that can do that. Is it on the inside of the chimney or outside of the chimney? There? Inside. Inside. And it's falling in from the inside. That's what's going to be. So the water's just, going down the inside? Yeah. Is this the mortar giving way? Yeah. It's built in the 1800s. Yeah. It's capped on the very top, right? Yeah, but it must be going somewhere. It's, it's making it through the rock. Yeah. A big rock fell down in the uh, yeah. We'll get somebody to hope that knows how to fix it. I know a guy that's real good on it. If I could just grab it. I have one thing I forgot to bring up. Uh, it's been brought to my attention down there in Rough River area. Down below uh, Center Town, like you're going to uh, Livermore, there's a log jam down there. Uh, got a couple ideas that we're going to look at. Okay. Trying to take care of the situation. It'll keep us informed. But, uh, Anyway, just want to let you know about that. Okay. Me too. I'm going to say something. We might let people, because I didn't really know today that we were in the auditorium and the people could come in as long as they spread out. We might need to let that people know too. We, because well, yes, we come now. And there are markers out there on the back of the seat. Yeah, that they could actually attend the meeting, just kind of be distance apart because 30 percent. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that today, and we probably ought to let the public know that if, if they want to attend. Yeah. They talked at the last meeting, but we could barely hear it. But y'all did tell it. Okay. But it. Yeah. I didn't. Well, appreciate it. Uh, if anybody else got anything for the good of the body? There's a gentleman out there. You, you need to talk to us? Yes, yes I do. Speaking of log jams, uh, uh, I. 
was really up around Easter. I, uh, Saturday before Easter, uh, we noticed we had another problem. Our tiling ditch that all our tiles go into, our ditch was plugged. And we've lost so much ground that, there, that it's in a different curve now, so the river is going right in our ditch, and we had to clean that out by hand. We couldn't get a track over to it. So I was belly aching with my wife when I got home, and uh, she messaged Raven Hagen on the Easter Sunday. I couldn't believe she did that, and he answered her right away. And he said, everything's gonna be good. We're all gonna live through the COVID virus, and we're gonna get that river cleaned out. And I thought, oh boy. But he did make one negative thing, and I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, and he said, uh, he said, uh, Charlie Shields is holding me up right now, but he said, I'm really wanting to get some engineers out there next week. So, he called me the following week, and he said, I'm bringing some engineers out, and I thought, oh boy. Um, so he told me when, so I met him there. Larry was gonna meet him, but they were a little late. But anyway, uh, I was, what I thought was very positive, and uh, I was able to talk to the engineers some, and my son, which works uh, for the Natural Resource Conservation Service, he, he made a point to be there. So he asked, uh, he asked, I uh, uh, can't remember his name right now, but the, the guy with Maverick, he said, do you have funding for this? And he said, I have a letter of intent and that's about the same thing. So, uh, man, I was like, boy, this is gonna get done. So we talked to the engineers and everything. We showed them some things. Well, what I was told was, and my son hit the engineers with this right away. They, he said, how long is it gonna take you for what you need to do? And the guy said, six weeks. Then, uh, the man with Maverick told me, he said, I'm going to get in here in June. And I got really charged up, okay? And I thought, this thing's over with. Well, two weeks ago, my son suggested, and the engineers gave me their card, and they're out of Bowling Green, B&B. So he said, I think maybe you ought to call them. So I called them, and uh, it took them just a minute to figure out who was back and forth and everything. So I talked to a gentleman named Matt, and he said, uh, and I did, so I said, yeah, I said, I um, gave him my name, and I told him everything, and I said, I'm just shocked you guys haven't been back, because they have to put a boat in the river, and take shots and everything, and figure out their ramp, you know, it's all got to be designed. So anyway, uh, he told me, uh, he says, uh, he said, you need to talk to Mr. Hagen. He said, he has not given us the go-ahead yet. So, I don't know a lot, but I know my birthday is June 7th, and I know six weeks from now is past June. So as far as I'm concerned, Raymond Hagen lied to me. So, you know, any help that you can do to push things around. Now, he did tell me that he actually bypassed Charlie, and he said he drove to Lexington and got the paperwork he needed to be able to get the engineers out there. So I'm to the point now where I figure I may as well start pulling stuff out of the river because we've lost an acre of ground and it's not getting any better. So I don't know if you know any more than I do, but that's what I know. And I'm, I know we all got a lot of other problems. And the other thing I told Raymond, hey, I said, when this, corona, when this coronavirus hit, I figured this is it, this is never gonna happen. And he assured me, he said, got nothing to do with it, because he said that money is from a year ahead of that. But we've hit a, hit a slowdown here, and uh, I'm, I'm getting worried because October is gonna be here before we know it again. So thank, thank you for what you have done, and if you can help me with anything else, I'd okay. appreciate it. Well, the coronavirus has just kind of put everything in limbo for us, but we're, everything's opening up some now and everything, and I'll get somebody on that and make those calls tomorrow. Uh, one other thing, excuse me, I'm sorry I forgot to say, but now one of the first things Raven Hagen told me was, 
Maverick has been bought out. But he says it's a good thing, but he says this will still be handled under Maverick. But uh, that kind of makes me wonder a little bit, but I know everybody's getting bought out. But I have talked to Maverick, or what used to be Maverick. Now yeah. I can't remember what the name of it is. It did. And they were bought out. Yeah. And uh, there is one guy that worked there, kind of took a, a personal liking to, to this project to try to get it through. Yeah, uh, I, I have a real problem. I can't remember anything, but what, well, the reason I really thought we were going to go somewhere because a week later, Raymond Hagen called my wife and he said, I have some new hires that I want to see your project. Can we happen to get in there? And I was there and I said, oh yeah, they can get in there. So it was a man and his wife and it was somebody that was hired by the, the, the new company. So I mean, you know, I was really up there for about three weeks, but I'm really down again now since I was told that he was going to do it in June, and now I know he's not. We'll make all those calls again and see what we can get going. I appreciate it. Anything else for the good, bring for yes. the body? Uh, June 23rd, our next fiscal court meeting at 4 o'clock. We need to meet for our bid opening committee. Yeah, 4 o'clock we'll open the bids and then just have to make well, didn't we say last time we was going to have a road committee meeting this week, this month, for a meeting? Because I was here for it and we didn't have it, but I... Yeah. Well, uh, there was a, I know what we was going to do. We was going to talk about flex funds, and I got the flex fund amounts the same time y'all did. We do have them now. So, bid opening next time. Do we need to uh, have a road committee meeting too then? Uh, Let's see if we can get to the bid openings, then we can start it and at least come up with their thinking. Everybody, though, before then, call me in your roads. Let me have all this to what we got, what you've got in mind for your area. Now, is this for the flex funds, funds or yeah, flex, flex funds? Not, not for the half of another money. We're yeah, we've already co covered the half. That's now it's going to a different. Okay. Now we're talking about flex funds. Now these are over that Chris is looking at now. And, and for, for the record, that was your house bill money, wasn't it? with all the money going down, did you notice we up? Not much, about five, six thousand dollars more this time we had last year on the flex fund. And I was really afraid it would be less. Because when the state's roads gets, uh, the condition of them gets worse, they get to keep more of the money. Yeah. But now I thought that uh, Jason had said that this was mandated to a certain extent. Yeah, it's protected. Protected it, by it, a lot it of It is, but there's a grade. Yeah, right. There's a right thing, and, and the percentage basis on of what the county gets is based on the condition of the real secondary. I never did understand why they just didn't put a certain tax on, and then, and then the fluctuation wouldn't make any difference if it was down or if it was up, and it'd well, give you a better idea of where everybody stood what, every year. It's not grade a B now. Did it go up to a B or is it still C? Did they grade how they get the flex It's a B, isn't it? It used to be C, but now it's a B. Mm -hmm. So that means we get more money. Yeah. So now, this flex fund is not what we're spending now on Black Dot? No, that, that's how it's been Coast Everest money now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to have this other little pot. That well, the, we get this one every year, and it's about the same amount, but it's right. a little bit more. It was 316 last year. You can take that number and just multiply it. I'm like Justin this year. I had it here a second ago. 3 something, but I can't 320 call. something. 328. 328? 328, yeah. It was uh, 5,000 more than last year, then? Mm -hmm. No, maybe 10,000. What did 318 last year? What? 317? <coughs> so it's 11,000. 328, 167. Yeah. So that's a little better. So we'll get them roads in it, we'll get the list, and we'll come together and we'll figure it out. Hey, let me ask you a question about that. Oh, so if you want to hold off on yours, could I hold off on mine? Or does it, does it have to be spent? I mean, how long do you which, have it? Which is that? Which form? The flex money or? Flex, no, flex money has to, it has to go within the fiscal year. So by, I have to spend it by next. It's Jason. Next. Jason wanted to take but now this one is one we got to all look at together. I mean, <laughs> Well, what I'd like to do is maybe next year combine it with some more money to get a longer road is what I'm thinking. I didn't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to. Well, you. You're thinking you can, rollover like maybe 20? 
Well, I'm thinking maybe next spring, if we could get it by next spring, well, and then think about... The problem is, is that you've got to get it in that physical year. Th this, this you won't be able to do exactly by a road formula. You just don't have enough money to do it that way. You're going, we're going to pick certain roads, and hopefully it'll break down fairly close to what it is. But you don't want a whole bunch of different roads. You want to well, I don't want a whole bunch. I want a big road. That's, that's why what, I thought. That's what it, flex money's for. If he I was save to my flex if money the next spring with next year's and then have them do it all one time, and then add my house bill money, to, you know, because we've already you, you could in the spring, but like I said, but you, that road's got to be there. What we're going to do, and this whole court has to prove what that is. You don't but just pick your. Jay said there wouldn't be any money. But you know that. Well, so this house bill money that we just took. That's from now. That's for this year. Until the end of next year. But we went ahead and, but I mean, what I'm saying though is we they went ahead and paid it May or June. And then we build, because we're doing our house bill money right now anyway, Joe, before the fiscal year is over with. We could end up having and then bill the second round of money comes in July next year. So I need to get another road for the I just want to get a longer road. And you need to reiterate your two. You had gave me two. You need to get that to me again. Can you use two short roads or does that be one? Yeah. Well, well, I just, you know, it could probably, probably, probably make it a long length road. No, no more. He just likes to do the whole road. The house road. He, likes he likes to do the whole road. Yeah. yeah. Instead of doing half of it one year and half of it Yeah. Next year. Well, <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. And it has to be, it can't be a gravel road. Okay. And it's got to be a bad road. If, if, if they, the state inspects them after we send them in, and they've got to be at least halfway up. I mean, they can't be a real good condition. Right? Which, with the last two years, we've never had that problem with the last two but years. But then your 480, back. you could roll it over. Do what? The, the, your part of the 480, man. Yes. You could roll it over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll, we'll have a road committee meeting right after bid opening. Uh, normally, we just have a few of you do the bid opening, but we want everybody there for it so that we can continue right into road park. I got a lot of questions. You said it can't be on gravel. What if it's been chip and seal and it's so bad that they had to gravel just a little spot? No, it still won't pass. Won't pass. Unfortunately, that's bad. That's the way it is. And uh, the reason is the state wants to see the money go as far as it can. And like we were talking a while ago, what what you the experience you had on a thin layer of blacktop on top of gravel, you know what it does. Yeah. Well, the state knows that. And they will, and, and they don't want you to put three inches because then it won't go very far. They like to see more miles done too. Well, then never mind because the road I'm thinking about right now is gravel, so the flex money wouldn't even work for that anyway. But your other money would. Yeah, yes. that's cost house bill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nothing else for the good of the body. I'll call this meeting adjourned. See y'all next time.